The UFC has officially banned talking about Jesus or religion after a fight. Raw Story reports, quote, The instruction came after middleweight fighter and native Spanish speaker Yoel Romero, or maybe it's Joel, I apologize for not knowing how to pronounce that, uh, evangelized the crowd and made what was mistaken for derogatory comments about gays after winning a match. Romero, who goes by the moniker Soldier of God, Stay classy. Uh, wore a white headband with John 316 emblazoned on it. He spoke directly to the crowd in broken English, chastising Americans for forgetting about Jesus. The rant came after the marriage equality ruling and uh, drew criticism. Because of his heavy accent, many heard him say, Go for Jesus, not for gay Jesus, while others heard, No forget Jesus. So, it's still up in the air, it's still being debated exactly what he said, but here's uh, Dana White's response, he said, But the reality is, you just won the biggest fight of your career. America doesn't want to hear your thoughts on Jesus. Keep that stuff at home. Religion, politics, all that stuff. When you're out there fighting and you're being uh, interviewed, they want to hear about the fight. It's awesome you love Jesus, love Jesus all you want. You don't have to do it in, uh, you don't have to do it publicly. Okay, so. Uh, there's a couple different angles to this story. First and foremost, let me tell you, because I watched the clip, so let me tell you what was intended there. Now, again, the exact wording is still up in the air. We don't know if he said, go for Jesus, no for gay Jesus, or if he said, go for Jesus, no forget Jesus. We don't know. That's still up in the air. But overall, if you watch the clip, it's perfectly clear what he's referring to. It's clear that he's talking about what just happened with the gay marriage decision. Because he does chastise America. He's like, what happened to you guys? You lost your way. What are you doing? I can't believe that we're going down this road. It's crazy. That's that's the that's the sense you get when you watch what he said. So whether or not he literally said, don't go for gay Jesus, it's almost irrelevant to me because what was clear is, fuck the gays. That was basically what he's getting at. So with that being said, and clearly me being against this guy because you're a fucking child if you really believe like, oh, it's so evil that we treat gays equally. How gross. So I disagree with him clearly. But with that being said, you don't need to do the fucking rule. Whatever. You know, I mean, you guys know, we are... We talk non-stop about how you have to absolutely, positively, 100% separate church and state. Government should be only about rationality, logic, reason, democracy. Let's talk it out. Let's figure out what makes sense here. Don't bring your fucking space fairies into this. I don't give a shit about what bullshit faith you have. It's not based on reality, so piss off with that. Keep religion out of government 100%. Outside of that, I do think it's kind of weird when you try to censor, like a business tries to, don't, don't you dare mention your beliefs when you're working under me. But that's like tyrannical on the part of the business. Again, I don't agree with this guy. I think he's a fucking idiot. But he, should he have a right after a, a thing, after a match to say, uh, I don't like gays and yay Jesus. I don't give a shit. Again, it, to me, what that does is, ju is it just shows me where the idiots are and who I don't want to associate with. If you censor him, then I have to interact with him first and then realize, oh, I just wasted three minutes of my life, what a douche, and then leave. It's the, it's the same thing, the exact same conversation we have about the Confederate flag. Should you fly the Confederate flag at, on a state capital on public property when, by the way, black people pay taxes too to fund the state property? So they're paying for the symbol of their great-grandparents being enslaved. No, of course you shouldn't have the Confederate flag there. But if Cletus in the middle of fucking Kentucky wants to have a confederate flag on his own truck, or at his house, I don't give a shit. Again, I like it because I know, don't go over there, Cletus is a dipshit. So it's the same thing here. I, I like the idea of countering his bullshit, telling him he's an idiot, uh, using your free speech to say, stop, you sound like a child. But I don't like the idea of, say, of the owner saying, or the person who's in control saying, if you work for me, don't say words I don't like, don't give your opinion. To me, that smacks a little bit of a tyrannical response and an overreach, and I don't think it helps the situation.